August Special Roman 4. August Adolphus Special Roman 4, born June 15, 1964, is an American businessman and former CEO of Anhusabash. He was the last of the family to control the company, which was purchased in a hostile takeover in 2008 by InBev. Special Roman 4 was known for his marketing leadership, where his history as head of the Anhusabash Marketing Department garnered 10th Street, United States of America Today's Super Bowl Ad Meter Awards, as well as awards at Cannes and the Grand Clio. He also served as a director of shipping giant FedEx. Bush has been involved in a number of legal incidents during his lifetime. Early life. He is a great-great-grandson of Anhisa Bush founder Adolphus Bush, and a great-great-great-grandson of Eberhard Anhisa who originally purchased the brewery in 1860. He is the son of Susan Hornerbrook and August Bush Roman III, the former chairman, president, and CEO of the company. Bush's parents divorced when he was five, and he lived with his mother. His time with his father was mostly spent at the brewery, and their relationship was, for the most part, professional. Education Bush received a bachelor's degree in finance and later a master's degree in business administration from St. Louis University. He later served on the university's board of trustees. In his early 20s, Bush earned a brewmaster's degree from Versace Sun Leo and stopped for a brewery at a brewing institute in Berlin. Early years after graduation, he followed the family tradition of starting at the bottom of Anhusa Bush. He worked as a brewing apprentice in the old malt house as a union member of Brewers and Maltz's Local 6 in Street Louis, Missouri, as an intern in the Culture East Center, and later as a foreman in packaging and shipping operations. In 1989, he moved into marketing, working on the Bud Dry brand launch. Although the launch was considered a success, the product ultimately proved to be unsuccessful. Bush's father initially opposed the campaign. He later admitted, I've lost the ability to understand the 21 to 30 year olds the way I used to. In 1994, Bush was named vice president of brand management. In 1996, he became vice president of marketing. Bush was promoted in 2000 to group vice president of marketing and wholesale operations. Under his leadership, the company emphasized more creative and often humorous advertising. In an interview with Fortune magazine, he recounted a conversation with his father, August Bush Roman III, then the company's president and CEO, that Budweiser's sales would grow only if the iconic brand's identity was reinvented. There was a culture weaved into the Budweiser brand. No one wanted to change it, Bush Roman IV told the magazine. The new advertising campaigns launched by Bush Roman IV cemented his reputation for marketing instincts. The Budweiser and Bud Light commercials won the United States of America Today Super Bowl ad meter every year from 1999 to 2008. Budweiser frogs, penguins, ants, lizards. Bush Room 4 focused the marketing department on humor, youth, animals, and tradition. He insisted to his father that his department could make splashy yet risky ads targeted at a younger demographic. That led to the creation of the Budweiser frogs advertising campaign featuring puppet frogs chirping bad, wise, in there. Other campaigns overseen by Bush Room 4 featured a friendly alligator, a sinister penguin with the catchphrase dooby dooby doo, parting ants and a self-absorbed lizard named Louie. The ads, according to Fortune magazine, helped Anhisa Bush stock rise by 27% in 1996. By 1998, the company achieved its best sales year ever. Chairman and in bed takeover. In 2002, Bush and other family members were passed over when the company named Patrick Stokes as its first non-family president and CEO. Bush's father had said that he owns 1% of the stock and that the board of directors calls the shots at the company. In 2004, as president of the company, Bush Roman IV announced the brewer had purchased the 20-year naming rights to a new Bush Stadium, the home of the Street Louis Cardinals. Team owner William Drew Jr. said, From the day we began planning for the new ballpark, we wanted to keep the name Bush Stadium. August Bush Roman IV and Anne Hussabash share our vision for continuing the tradition for our great fans and the entire Street Louis community. Jewett, as part of an ownership group, had purchased the team from the brewery in 1996. Bush became president and CEO effective December 2006. Bush's father had been criticized for not expanding globally and leaving the company open for acquisition. In 2007, August and the directors began discussions to acquire Diageo, but the deal never advanced. Less than 18 months into Bush's tenure, rumors circulated that Imbev was attempting to buy the company. In April 2008, Bush told beer distributors that Anhusa Bush would never be bought on my watch. A B stock had closed at $49.20 on April 30, 2008. InBev offered $65 per share in June, and Bush refused. Prior to InBev's offer, a B stock had never been higher than $51.97. In hopes of keeping its independence, Bush proposed acquiring the remaining 50% it did not own of Grupo Modelo. 
and Bev then said it would not include Bash in the new company board, but would include his uncle Adolphus Bushroman for, who had favoured the deal. Eventually, in Bev Sweden, they spent $70 per share and kept Bush on the board. On July 13, 2008, he signed off on the sale of a B2 in Bev, ending 156 years of family control. Press reports indicated that the Bush family ownership of the company had greatly dwindled over the years, with Bush's father owning 1.2% at the time of the takeover. In total, the Bush family owned 4% of the company and were not the company's biggest shareholders. Barclays owned 6% and Berkshire Hathaway owned 5%. The family did not own super voting stock, as do many publicly traded companies with family affiliations. The board did not imply the common take of a defense tactic of staggering its board of directors terms the AB board was re-elected each year. According to reports, Bush and his father were estranged. His father was said to have engineered the AB takeover blindsiding the son. The public conflict between father and son led to the higher price. AB gave Bush a title of non-executive director at a contract as a consultant that ran until December 2013. He was also given a security detail through 2011. The deal was worth $100 million to Bush. He also received a seat on Inves board for a three-year term, $10.35 million in advance, and the promise of $120,000 a month in consultancy fees, as well as a personal security team. The same month the InBev takeover was completed, Bush resigned as a director of FedEx, a position he had held since 2003. Personal life Bush holds advanced black belt degrees in the martial arts disciplines of Judo, Taekwondo, and Hapkido. He studied under Korean Grandmaster Bon Yoshin, who served as Bush's bodyguard. Bush, reported as a lean five foot minus ten inch man in 2005, was described as having a striking resemblance to his father. Bush Roman IV and his family have a long history in aviation. Bush is trained to fly both helicopters and jets. Bush married Catherine Kate Thatcher, 16 years his junior, in August 2006 in Bradford, Vermont shortly before becoming CEO. He filed for divorce on November 26, 2008, the same month the InBev takeover was completed. The couple had a prenuptial agreement, and the divorce moved quickly through the courts, becoming official at the end of January 2009. The couple had no children. Charity Bush Roman IV currently serves or has served on numerous charitable boards, including Back Supper's current director. Obvious Bush Roman IV Foundation, which supports grad funding for Bond's Jewish Hospital Study of Treatment Resistant Depression. Former board member of Cardinal Glennon Children's Hospital in Street Louis. Former board member of National Urban League. Honored by the National Academy of Television Arts and Sciences for contributions to sports television. Lifetime Achievement Award from Larry King Cardiac Foundation. Accident resulting in death of Michelle Frederick 1983. Accident resulting in death of Michelle Frederick 1983. At age 19, while attending the University of Arizona, Bush was in an auto accident that resulted in the death of his passenger, 21-year-old Michelle Frederick, a local model and waitress. According to witnesses, Bush had left the bar early one morning with Frederick. The vehicle wrecked at the 25 MPH curve known for accidents. The car flipped and Frederick flew through the sunroof and was probably killed instantly when the car rolled over her. Bush left the scene of the accident without informing anyone. When police arrived on the scene hours later, they found several empty Bud Light cans lying near the car and inside the car a wallet with two driver's licenses registered to Bush and a handgun. Deputies found Bush at his Tucson townhouse four miles six km away, with blood on his body, a sawed-off shotgun, and in a dazed condition exhibiting signs of amnesia. Bush was found to have suffered a skull fracture in the accident. After a lengthy investigation by the Pima County Sheriff's Department in July 1984, the Pima County District Attorney announced he was not charging Bush with any wrongdoing. He said that while Bush appeared to have been speeding at 45 and pH, that was not sufficient for charges, and witnesses from the bar did not report that he appeared to be drinking excessively. As part of regular procedure, police took blood and urine samples from Bush while he was in custody. These samples were to assess whether and how much he had been drinking at the time of the accident. However, the hospital lost the urine sample, and the blood sample had been run through a centrifuge, rendering it useless. Court chase 1985 Couch 1985. Bush was arrested at the age of 20 in Street Louis after leading undercover police in an unmarked car on a chase with speeds reaching between 85 and 90 mph. On King Shyway Boulevard in the central west end of the city. He was returning from visiting PT Sports Cabaret, Strip Barn Saugate, Illinois. The officers ended the chase by shooting at the rear tire of Bush's car. Bush claimed he thought they were attempting to kidnap him. The police accused him of trying to run over two officers with his Mercedes. 
Bosch was acquitted of assault by a street lead jury. Death of Adrian Nicole Martin, 2010. Death of Adrian Nicole Martin, 2010. On Sunday, December 19, 2010, Adrian Nicole Martin, a 27-year-old divorcee and part-time waitress who had been dating Bush for about two years, was found dead at Bush's home in Huntley, Missouri. Bush was in the house at the time, and a household employee called 9 minus 1 minus 1 15 p.m. Her mother said her daughter was happy with Bush, and Adrian Martin's obituary would describe Bush as the love of her life. The initial autopsy revealed no signs of trauma and was inconclusive as to cause of death. Martin's ex-husband Kevin Jerry Martin, a Cape Girardeau, Missouri osteopathic physician, said Martin suffered from long QT syndrome, a heart condition that could cause an unexpected sudden death, but he had not discussed this with authorities. Martin's mother said that Martin was taking trazodone for sleep issues. Kevin Martin noted such use needs to be monitored by a physician. The matter was investigated by Frontenac, Missouri police, who ordered toxicology tests. A toxicology report in February 2011 indicated Martin had cocaine and oxycodone in her system. Pill bottles with her name were found containing each of these. She had no prescription for either. The Streetly County prosecutor confirmed that Martin had lethal levels of both oxycodone and cocaine in her system, and ruled she died of an accidental overdose. The report noted that Martin's physical condition showed she had been using cocaine for several months to a year. On March 31, 2011, Adrian's ex-husband Kevin Martin filed a wrongful death suit against Bush for negligence and on behalf of her son Blake Alexander Martin born 2002. The case was to be handled in Cape Girardeau. Adrian's mother announced she was hiring New York attorney John Q. Kelly who previously represented Beth Holloway and the estate of Nicole Brown Simpson to pursue the case and also said she would seek custody of her grandson. She was concerned that her friendship between Adrian's ex-husband and Bush would taint the civil case. On April 6, 2011, Adrian's father, George Larry Abbey, joined the suit saying he had been deprived of the companionship, comfort, instruction, guidance, counsel, and training of Adrian Martin. Friends of the family noted Abbey and Martin had been estranged during her adult years. On April 20, 2011, the press reported that Bush had agreed to a $1.05 million settlement with Kevin Martin on behalf of his son. The court would decide how much could be allocated to Adrian's parents. Helicopter Incident On July 10, 2017, Bush was arrested in Swansea, Illinois, after police alleged she tried to fly a helicopter containing four guns and eight dogs while intoxicated. According to Swansea police, officers were called around 8.15 p.m. when Bush Roman 4 appeared to be trying to take off in his helicopter while intoxicated. He was twice administered a breathalyzer and twice blew a 0.0. He was taken to a local hospital for blood and urine samples after officers conducted field sobriety tests, most of which Bush Roman 4 passed. Officers believed he may have been under the influence of prescription drugs. Blood tests later came back clean, according to the Street Clare County State's Attorney.